All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rockets 321. Hit that like button if you've already been around and you're a subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and hit the like button and check out past videos, builds, launches, tips, tricks, crashes, everything. And a couple unboxings and some vintage rockets, a little bit of everything. So today, this will be an unboxing video, as you can see by this box I got right here. This came in the mail. Um, it's from North Coast Rocketry. North Coast Rocketry has been around for a little while. Um, I know the owner, Matt Steele, real cool guy. We used to fly together at the club here in Arizona at Superstition Space Modeling Society. Um, Matt had the company, um, North Coast Rocketry. I'm not sure if he had it back in the days. I used to see it in the Estes um, catalogs. I remember getting one in the mail. And then there was this North Coast Rocketry in there, and the rockets were bigger, more mid and high power stuff, I think. So I'm just wondering, I have to talk to Matt about that one day, maybe get him on here. But anyway, we're going to get into this unboxing. I went to the website. He seemed to be putting out some great quality kits. I've been waiting to see what I want to grab. So he has a nice variety. I like the F-117. And I especially like this one that he have right here. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to see what I got. So let's go ahead and got my knife ready. Yeah, I recently lost a knife um, that I found. Let me go on this side. But I found my other knife, so now I'm in need of a new knife. So I'm just using this Swiss Army knife, which is really pretty dull. I got I had it for many years. I like the Swiss Army knife. So I'm have to get have to get a new one. It lost its shield and it's kind of dull. But much about the knife. Let's get into this right here and see what we got. Let's see how he did it. How he how the North Coast, Coast Rocketry kit pack okay so here we have lift off it says lift off with north coast rocketry you have a couple of his kits here i know one's the lance beta is that cluster duck maybe i think that's a cluster duck or something like that and um i forget i think that's lance beta right there and then another missile type rocket so cool nice little postcard here thank you for your order for further information on north coast products if you have any questions shoot me an email Got his email right there. Also, I am interested in seeing photos of your completed models that I will show, that I can show on the website. Please send them. All right, cool. Keep them flying, Matt Steele. Enjoy. And signed by Matt right there. Cool. And the North Coast logo is right there. All right, so here we have a little extra. Here we go. Got a little sanding stick. Clean your clips with North Coast rocketry. Yep, I need one of these with me, so this works out perfect. I've been forgetting to bring a piece of steel wool or sandpaper to the launches and I noticed like it, when I'm putting a rocket on there it's a little stuck it would be off camera but I'll clean it I'll find a way to, to get that residue off there so this is a cool nice little little gift from North North Coast so there we go with those two all right so it seemed to be packed really well packed nice um first we have all right you got some just some bubble wrap on the top then we have the big box with the rocket okay this is done well already quality Already, so I'm gonna move the ground box. All right, so here we have. I picked up the MGM 157 Scorch, as you can see. This is a cool looking rocket. It was right up my alley for the type of rockets that I like. I'm typically not a missile guy. I'm like more scale, you know. Um, I guess man, the ones that will carry man or whatever. So into orbit stuff like that but this is a missile design but very cool got the north coast name right there he gotta read this first it says by breaking this seal i agree to follow nar safety code and all applicable laws and regula mm, regulations associated with the proper use of this product made in usa and he got the north coast rocketry um address right there which is in sandy utah and the website right there which is northcoastrocketry.com so stop over there and check out north coast rocketry i like what they're doing i'm gonna open this up right now take a look at some of the parts um very cool so far i like this big graphic on here good job with that is that like a poster oh that's nice that's that's a good touch so quality already i appreciate that so i'm gonna go ahead and break this seal because i typically follow all the <laughs> all the nar rules as should you, you don't want issues so here we go all right so I'm gonna turn it back this way so you can get a better view of everything that's in there 
Alright, so nice box opens up. Okay. So we're gonna start out with the parts. Okay, so here we have this nose cone here. Nice solid nose cone. Heavy duty got a little flash there. I'll have to remove that when I do the build. Nice, nice already. Nice tough body tube. Very hard. Definitely a mid power, mid to high power tube, tough. Fin can here, we have a nice fin can or boat tail. This would be a boat tail, slide it. As you can see the inside gets three print they had three printed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this is a nice little rocket. Nice little body tube, cone, and boat tail. So that's that. That's that right there. This rocket will finish at about I think 23 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so here we have a bag of parts. Let's see, oh yeah, I see. oh this is all all good quality stuff. So we have a Ziploc bag here. It's all in this Ziploc deal, and that body design is this wrap, which is so cool. Like I'm loving this already with all the rivets. So that is really nice. Let me zip that off the side right there. And here we have more. I guess this is the boat tail section. More details, more graph on the more details on the decals rather. Like I said, it's one body wrap design. And here's some more. And here's more. Nice. Yeah, so it's kind of like a missile design. Um, I'm not really a missile guy, but I will fly them. I have a Phoenix and some other ones, but I typically, you know, ones that carry, man. Oh, this is great. I recognize this part. So, I made that graphic. And here's a North Coast sticker. Thanks for the sticker. Yeah, I always appreciate a good sticker. And nice, too. It's on a nice, nice vinyl. Nice. So that's a good touch there. Now we'll get into some of the hardware, centering rings, and the fins. So here's the fins. They're laser cut base wood. Nice. So there's one, one of those, two of those, three of those fins. And here's the fourth of those fins. Imagine if it had been five fins. That would have been cool too. But yeah, there's four of those. Next up, we have some parts I may not know just yet. Yeah, just a little detailing part, I, I'm guessing. So I'll have to find out where these go. Nice. And here's the motor tube. Look like a 29 millimeter motor tube. Sweet. So here's the bottom. I just want to stand that guy up so this can be. Yeah, at least yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, so here we have centering rings. For a centering ring, I guess it's going to be an association with the boat tails will be the top one. I can see a little loop there for the Kevlar, as I can spot right here, which I'll pull out right now. Kevlar system for recovery and elastic for recovery. Cool. And here we have, I guess, some lead. I mean, some, you know, some kind of metal shot. I'm guessing for nose weight. I'm guessing. Just guessing right now. Launch lug, like a maybe a 316 or a quarter, maybe 316. Launch lug, other centering ring of sort. It looks a little smaller, so there's a there's gonna be a method to putting this together. To you know, have to find out once I go into the instructions. And here we have, I guess that is a is that a retainer ring? Some maybe a retainer ring right here. Retainer ring. And there's a retainer similar to the Estes. So I get to put the motor in. This will hold the motor in. Nice. Yeah. Here's the other the threaded part to that. And here we have a piece of wire. We'll have to find out. I'm guessing this is part of the recovery system. Nice, heavy duty, tough wire. I have a little clamp here. So nice, and another tiny little part right here. I'm gonna have to keep track of it. I don't want to lose that. But I like the clamp that'll hold the wire. You'll like a little bracket. And there's another little black piece in here. I feel like the kind of rubber that you heat up, and it will seal. So that's all the parts. Um, I have the no parachute included, so I'll have to get my own parachute. See what size is recommended. So yeah, about this. Here's the MGM 157 Scorch. And the vehicle data is the length is 23 inches that I said diameter is 2.64 weight is 15 ounces so what's that just about a pound maybe so on the e on the F on the SD's F15 you'll get it up to 938 feet if you move into anything Aerotech you're going up to a thousand feet the Aerotech G64 will put you at 2,000 
989 feet. So that's the altitudes, and there's the look of the rocket. Like I said, it looks really great. It's like right up my alley. Even though it's a missile, it looks it looks cool. I like it. And in some kind of weird way, I'll almost see it as a as a ship. I'll also see it as a ship, like almost like a like a Luna type rocket, like that would carry, you know, people. We have windows along here, a little cockpit. That's kind of what I see. But cool rocket, cool. Cool. I'm gonna build it to its specs, and um, it will be flown. Right now, I'm working on Saturn V. There's all the parts there. Like I said, no parachute. I'm gonna see what recommendation, what size. But I'm typically gonna go small because I don't want you know you get in those kind of altitudes, you will get drift and all that. So yeah, here's the build. There's some stuff you have to do. You have to mask off and get a red cone. But yeah, full full color. And there's how you apply the decals. Nice. Very good job. Very good job. Appreciate the full color, all the details. Yeah, this looks cool. So, and no painting other than painting the cone. Oh, yeah, tell that all looks so great. Like, I'm liking the black and white the roll pattern scheme, and then you gotta go across. Yeah, that's where the yeah, that's those sections I was holding up. That's this decal right here. That right there is the cone section right there. They give you that look right there with the other decals. This is great, man. Wow, this is very unique. And that's the final product. Man, that is, that's a good looking rocket. I really, really dig it. I really dig this one. One side's kind of white. Like, you can get a good look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Flight instructions. I just want to see what parachute size he's recommending. I don't see it right yet. At least I can't spot it while, you know, I'm flying like this. But anyway, I'll find that out. Um, I'll find that out as I go along. But again, North Coast Rocketry. Um, nice cone. Heavy duty. This is um, this is heavy duty stuff. It's tougher than the SD stuff you would get. Like this tube is thicker. Even my Saturn V tube is really flimsy compared to even this tube. But I understand they want to keep the Saturn V pretty lightweight. And to get a look of how it'll be, like once the fin is on, it'll be something like, like that. So that's how a fin sits. Oh, this is cool. Nice little rocket. Nice. And you're going to get some serious, serious flights out of this 29 millimeter. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this thing is going to fly off the pad. <laughs> Zoom in. But yeah, guys, there you go. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Put all these parts back in here. I don't want anything to get in the way. And um, that'll be it for this video. I will catch you guys on another video. And stay tuned at the end. I have some other videos at the very end of this video. So be sure to watch those. And also hit the thumb up button. We'll be back more, with more rockets. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Alright, y'all. This is North Coast Rocketry Scorch. Alright, peace.